Eric here with the Perkins Builder Brothers. If you're watching this video right now, you're getting ready to learn the top 10 things that you need to know before you install composite decking. Today we're using Trex Select brand decking and it's a coated decking. That means it has a solid plastic layer around the outside. Uh, we'll be putting down a color called Saddle. Now this particular Trex product will cost about $6 a square foot for the material plus fasteners if you're interested in using it. Good luck to you. <laughs> Okay, number one, you cannot have more than a 16 inch on center spacing on your joist. Trex decking does not have any structural value, so if you have 24 inch on center joist, the decking is likely to sag between the joists and it'll look terrible and feel like a trampoline. You may want to crawl under your deck and check your joist spacing before you rip off your decking and replace it because it's gonna be a lot more work if you have to add an extra joist between all your 24 inch on center joists to make it 12 inches on center for your new Trex decking. Number two, snap chalk lines to space your boards evenly and also keep them straight because these deck boards are not necessarily straight. We're doing 3 16ths over the width of the deck board to give us a good spacing. And see how that works. This is the story pole here. I'm sliding around. I basically have marked all of the marks onto this end of the deck to chalk my lines across here. Number three, plan on buying extra material to do blocking around the outside joist. Right here, two by six, and this allows to run a piece of band decking for all this other decking to butt into in this direction so you don't see the cut ends. Usually composite decking is not the same color all the way through, so if you see the cut ends, it never looks good. Uh, so we've got these basically supporting this blocking flush on top. Here's this rim piece of decking installed on the other side, uh, and you can see the ends of this stuff don't look that good. So this will butt in like so, and you'll see a nice rounded edge instead of that nasty edge. Number four, use the right screw. These are specifically made for composite decking. They have two different kind of spirals and a little bit of a cutter head on the tip. This will cut its own hole and it will set flush without mushrooming, mu <laughs> without mushrooming your decking. Number five, you will need to cut all of the factory ends on these boards where they butt together. None of them are square from the factory. Get a nice clean cut in that'll butt up to the next board perfect. Yeah. Number six, this stuff is flimsy. Let's check it out. All right, carry the boards on edge. I can barely hold it like this. With two people, preferably. Seven, and maybe the most important tip to not lose your mind, is to build yourself some little outriggers, toe screwed to the deck band, so that you can lay your outside board up here. You can bump it tight with a square. You can mark your posts all the way down. You can mark your next post right here and here, and cut around it and the board has something to sit on for you to mark it and cut it. Since this is so flimsy, you can't hold it like that. It's got about four people. Number eight, if you have to put a screw near the end of one of these boards and you don't pre-drill it, it will split. Use a combo bit like this, don't let the counter seat get into it, but as a nice sharp point, we'll start right where you want. Drill yourself a hole. Number nine, do not be surprised when it takes you twice as long to put composite decking down as regular treated decking. Think about this stuff, AJ. 
This stuff's much harder than I thought. <laughs> Number 10 for a perfect fit on these outside corners. Let one side run square. You come around and see that this side is <coughs> not cut at an angle. Right there. And we will take our oscillating tool and go straight up this face right here to cut this board at the exact same angle, even if this angle is a little off 45. So here we go. and you'll get a perfect fit on your corner.